Hi there everyone, it's Dave with Sailing Cavu. Today we're going to outfit our new Mercury Marine outboard for our dinghy with a tachometer hour meter so we can check and see the type of uh, hours we're putting on it and keep up with our maintenance properly. brand new Mercury 15 horsepower four stroke EFI electric start motor for our dinghy. And I was surprised to find that most of the uh, maintenance was tied to hours including the break-in. However, there's no hobbist meter on this. There's no hour meter uh, there's no tachometer. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's all captured in the ECU, but uh, it's not available to the user. So to make sure that we're doing maintenance on the regular schedule and, and we get all the break-in time in, I decided to add a hour meter slash tachometer to the motor. So this is what we're adding. It's the, uh, it's the hardline tach and hour meter. It's for... Uh, two or four stroke EFI um, up to two cylinders, which is what we have. So uh, this should work just fine for what, we're, what we need it for. I got this hardline uh, tachometer uh, hour meter, and uh, there's a link in the description for you if you want to purchase this. You can see that they offer some mounts for the uh, tachometer, but they're kind of pricey for what they are. And plus, I don't know if they'll work in all applications. I decided to make my own mount. Here you can see this bracket right here that I made. Uh, drill, Dremel tool, um, vise, all, all tools you should have in your garage. What I started with was just this plate. Got it from Home Depot, 70 cents. Uh, so that makes it nice and inexpensive. So I got the meter mounted on here, uh, used a little rubber washer, had a little rubber washer in there. You can see the bracket looks really good. Ran the wire through the existing uh, hole there where the uh, throttle cable goes through. And it's actually gonna come around the engine here. And I'll attach it here to this uh, spark plug wire. Uh, so, in order to make it nice and neat, what I'm going to do is put a little silicone dots in here and uh, let the uh, wire rest in the silicone so it'll be up and out of the way. Kind of up in there. I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's, a, there's a lip right here. And I'm just going to run just a little bit of silicone here and it'll be a, enough to keep this uh, wire out of the way of anything else. So doesn't interfere. So I got the wire put in and there's a little lip underneath here. You can kind of see where it's sticking out just a little bit. But for the most part, I've got it tucked into that lip. And I got these clamps on it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll hold it long enough for the uh, silicone to cure. Okay, so here you can see that where I wrapped the coil. Uh, around there and for the most part it looks like the wire has stuck in and is routed out of the way so that all looks good you can see how I mounted that on there So I'm going to demonstrate the tachometer. I uh, first got to start the engine. And it pops up RPM, which go up with the throttle. Alright, and then they hit this gray button right here. And that tells you how many hours we have on this engine. 5.4. 
pretty new.